Heather, Heather, ho there. It's Jeff Diamond with your quarterfinals update from the 2017 NCAA Legends Tournament. Four fantastic games were being played. Of course, the group finals. So let's get to it. Georgia Tech took on Iowa and the Orange Bowl in Miami. Of course, Georgia Tech defeated Oklahoma, Texas A&M, and Clemson. So they had a good run. Head into this game. Iowa took down Canada State. Central Michigan and, and then beat the Nebraska shockingly. So it was like a coin flip who would win. Georgia Tech went through a hard road and Iowa is not really a good team. Some say Georgia Tech was going to have a big letdown. Well, unfortunately, I have a bad news for you Iowa fans, especially my buddy Jeff Brandon. Um, Iowa got their butts handed to them 30 to 10. Georgia Tech using their running attack and even a few touchdown passes from Josh Nesbitt to sink Iowa. Georgia Tech goes on to the Final Four. Their opponent for the Final Four, because the winner of Group 3 faces the winner of Group 2, came out of the Rose Bowl circuit. And in the finals in Pasadena, Wisconsin, number 10 seed, got past Western Kentucky easily. Had a, had a fantastic finish against Utah to win in the final seconds. And then needed double overtime to defeat the pesky Minnesota Golden Gophers. That's their road. Michigan, on the other hand, easily took down Alaska. They had a good time with West Virginia, and they scored a last-minute touchdown against USC in Tampa Bay to win their trip to Pasadena. Michigan taking on Wisconsin, the Battle of the Big Ten. The Big Ten really taking that bottom section of the draw. Anyway, Wisconsin and Michigan took each other on, and then Michigan, it was 21-21 headed to um, the last few seconds. Of course, you'll watch the video, and then you'll find out that Michigan had a chance for the winning field goal, but they missed the field goal. It was blocked. Wisconsin then stuck Michigan on a um, key play in double overtime, and then Wisconsin scored a touchdown themselves. So Wisconsin won the game by the score of 26-21 in overtime. So Wisconsin would take on Georgia Tech in the semifinals. Now, over in the uh, top half of the bracket, Group 1, the Sugar Bowl bracket, it was Memphis against BYU. You're thinking, what the heck? How did that happen? Well, Memphis, their road, they beat North Carolina 10-7. They beat New Mexico 13-0. And then they shockingly beat Florida State in Atlanta 21-14. Thinking, how the hell did they get it? Well, a lot of upsets and all that. Um, so, that's big. Um, Memphis, no, opponent BYU. Well, they beat Navy 13-7. They got lucky. Navy fumbled the ball on the, on the one-yard line. That would have been a touchdown to sink them. BYU shocked Alabama 24-7. And shocked was really the word. And then they shocked Miami 14-10 in San Antonio. So basically BYU was being two legendary team, um, teams. So now you got Memphis against Brimming Young. Brimming Young University. Memphis in New Orleans. It was a great game. BYU had a 10-point lead with less than a minute left. Memphis drove down the field and scored a touchdown with about 18 seconds left. Cut the deficit down to three. On side kick, they botched it. BYU, after a few plays, decided to go for a 40-yard field goal because they knew even if they missed it, Memphis would only have three seconds left to throw a Hail Mary. They kicked the... They, ki they tried to kick the field goal to ice it, even. And they failed, and unfortunately for them, Memphis got the ball back. Memphis threw a tight pass caught and then the guy was dropped at the 36 yard line like game over right wrong BYU got a roughing the passer call 15 yards and that led to BYU Memphis's swick with a 38 yard field goal to tie the game in which he did Memphis and BYU traded touchdowns and all that Memphis screwed up on their possession in triple overtime and BYU just needed to kick the field goal to win the game and they did BYU wins in triple overtime now of course Big shout out to BYU because, of course, they did it in lieu of the death of Lavelle Edwards, the greatest coach in BYU history, who just recently passed away. Anyway, um, Fiesta Bowl bracket, whoever won that would take on BYU, and the finalists were Boise and Virginia Tech. Boise took down Old Dominion, they took down Washington on home turf, and then they ended up beating Ohio State in the Cotton Bowl, shockingly. How could Boise beat Oklahoma, I mean, Ohio State? And then Virginia Tech, well, they pounded Tulsa into submission. They beat Tennessee in Tennessee, well, at the Music City Bowl. And then they shocked Houston, who were the one seed in the Fiesta Bowl group, 24-7. So Virginia Tech against Boise, everyone that 
this is too close to call, and it was too close to call. Unfortunately for Boise, their passing offense was not good enough. They needed the running game, and Virginia Tech used a bit of the running game to their advantage. Virginia Tech, Kachi 23-14 over Boise, so Virginia Tech would take on BYU in the Final Four. So, so the semifinal matchups are as follows. Georgia Tech takes on Wisconsin, and BYU against Virginia Tech. People are projecting a Tech final. Georgia Tech against Virginia Tech. We'll see what happens. So anyway, thank you for watching. And the next video will be to do with the semis and finals. The final four. And then, of course, we'll do a recap video. Goodbye.